I am a child of God. I am loved by God. And I am the light of the world. Question. Have you ever used a glow stick before? Now the interesting thing about a glow stick is that before it can be used to its full potential, something must happen. You must take it out of the package and then break the piece in the middle so that the chemicals mix and eventually glow. You know, oftentimes in life, we find ourselves broken. But I want to give you hope today and remind you that God is near to the brokenhearted and that God is always working, even in the midst of it. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. See, oftentimes breaking comes because you have been blessed, and the breaking does, in fact, have its purpose. This happened just like when Jesus fed the multitudes. He took the bread, he blessed it, and then broke it. After blessing comes breaking, or in other words, sanctification. And after being broken comes being used by God to bless and serve others in ways we could have never imagined. The sanctification process comes because God wants us to be fully dependent on Him and His power. The truth is that the bread couldn't feed the multitudes unless it was broken, and glow sticks cannot bring light and be used to its full potential until it is broken. Maybe for you, you feel broken. My encouragement to you is to remember that you are a child of God. You are loved by God, and you are the light of the world, even in your brokenness. For others, maybe it's not your life that's breaking you, but it's the things around you that you see that breaks your heart. When Jesus looked around, it broke his heart. When you look out into this world, what breaks yours? Sometimes I pray for certain communities and people and in the moment, I feel this heartache of God, and I can't help but just cry on behalf of these people. Do you see the mess? What's the cause? It's because there's a lack of God. My hope is that every day, when we go back out into the world and see brokenness, we would respond saying it's time to let our light shine. Billy Graham once said, we are the Bibles the world is reading. We are the creeds the world is needing, and we are the sermons the world is heeding. It's time to pray. God, we thank you that you can turn any mess and any brokenness into something beautiful. We thank you that even when we can't see that there is hope on the other side, the Bible calls you the living hope. God, I give you glory because this hope is not dead but it is continual, eternal, and living. For those of us who are broken or have been broken, God, I pray today that we would have a renewed sense of purpose as we begin to heal. Help us to hold on to the truth that for those who love you, it's for our good and your purpose. And for those of us who look into the broken world, I pray that our hearts would break for what breaks yours and that it would ignite in us a fire to be world changers for your glory in our communities. Allow our brokenness to push us forward to help build the kingdom of God become both bigger and stronger. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.